No, the, the draft confuses me right now. But for the meantime, yes, this is now the third series for tonight. It is Indonesia's team MLJJ versus the Philippines team Solid Boys. It is the champion of the, it is the national champion of the Philippines. Let's see if team MLJJ will be able to make a comeback for their country. So meantime, it's pretty chill. No engages or no invades happening right now, Leo. What are your thoughts about that? That you know they're just playing it chill right now. Alright, I mean, Munyan's on the coup prime mid with the um, Concussive Blast doing well there. And uh, Sai MVP down bottom going up against Arbe. Huh, I think I think Arbe took a small camp there. But Mr. V here, afraid of uh, our friend Muhammad Edison. Uh, but nonetheless, he gets away with it though. And now it looks like it's Arbe oh, and Mr. Man. V. Wow! What a turnaround! We just left him with the camera and he comes around with first blood. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, um, I guess it was also that expert overextending. And at the same time, he got caught off guard by Mr. V onto that Joe head. Meantime, the ex Borg needs to be very careful once more because hiding in the bushes right now is Stan and S right now. They're diving him. 3v1 situation. I think they're gonna go all in. There goes the toss, the eject, and I don't think he's gonna make it out. Another kill is gonna go on to the side of Team Solid Boys, and they got a little bit of gold leaf as well. Yep, almost, Mr. V, almost. He almost went down there, but not just yet, and that's all that counts. Now, how big is that gold lead exactly? About a thousand, give or take, so that's not bad. Launch not bad attack. at all, two minutes in. Totally not bad at all. And uh, we were pretending about Mr. V almost to death. I think he got that calculated, so no worries. But for the meantime, under 1v2 situation right here in the bottom lane, no, call the three, because that Arbe will fall down. Mm, well, Esperalda, Sa Sa MVP Gaming, oh, close to death as well. Another tussle on the top side. Is it gonna dive? Nope. Does he wanna take the risk? Oh, hold up. Mr. V, man, he has high and dry. I think he just needed one more basic attack there, but nonetheless, he would rather stay alive here. And you gonna go for the cut? No. Turtle He's just waiting. Yeah. Oh no. But I think with the help of Tan, I think with the help of Tan, they can go for something bigger. Yeah. Meantime, they. It looks like. Oh, where do you, Oh, making a plays in here right now. The Kufra will dive in. Even that uh, Hayabusa killing the Farsa flicker out coming from one of the members of Team MLJJ in here. Kufra will fall down. That's a lot of exchange of kills. I did not even. I wasn't even able to count that one in total but i think that was like a one for two was it a one for two? Oh wow oh You're nice not even done. the flicker here by our friend muhammad edison did you see that last insanity and then tan just gets out and he still flickers in so oh he almost missed the kill but still gets it ah lovely lovely indeed the position in the turtle right now is being done by solid boys at the moment but of course mljj will still be able to rightfully contest that area too now that solid boys left that to check out their blue buff and probably they want the lancelot to get the buff that he needs for the meantime there goes the dive coming in from our kufra once more Killing looks like oh where does it happen on the top side, right? But another skirmish only going here onto the jungle camp of Team Solid Boys. They're gonna go for a counter kill in, uh, for their teammates. Meantime, pressure is still on for Mr. V Gaming in here up against up against that X Borg. Yep, Any that's Korea? Muhammad. Off cam kill happening somewhere uh, on the other part of the map. Did he just get one more kill? Um, because Mr. V is down on the top side, I, I think they did. But for the meantime, under the, another fight is ongoing here on to the turtle side. Team Solid Boys will take that away. Oh, two kills in favor of Solid Boys right now. Make the three. Kill Esmeralda as well. But for the meantime, look at what that x is doing up on top. He's just gonna take down the tier 1. Hand space, so... Again, surprising oh. stuff here. Um, and, as oh. I just said, Billy. 
Oh, Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. What are you doing, man? Billy is actually our good friend, Bang Bill. Look how almost even our kills for right now here. But for the meantime, look at the damage being done by Hayabusa. Ooh, saving his life, uh, dashing out of the team fight. Not allowing himself to get killed by Tan onto that Lancelot. But the burst of damage of Lancelot is just way too real right now. Uh, Jawhead, Mr. V onto the top side, taking down the tier 1 turret on, up on top. And uh, it's just basically even out, evening out the, the space that they have in that particular part of the map. And I guess what's interesting is our off laners here, at least in the top lane, are hyperactive. Look! A push already for MLJJ and a push for Solid Boy, so no one is really yeah. ahead there decisively. But look at this. Muhammad. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh! That's oh, actually... No, no. What? Munyan's in trouble. What oh, what a triple, triple kill? here! It is! Triple for 10! Triple for 10! It is! And actually, I think that was a good uh, space creation and damage output coming from Edge as well. So, the moment that the members of Team MLJJ got caught up by the Feathered Air Strike, they just they, they were just super low on HP. And uh, what Tan can do is just, to just go all in, abuse that super low HP of Team MLJJ members, and just go all in. And look at this, the conversion rate is through the roof. Able to invade and now take Turtle. They still have time to go defend bottom if they want to do. And was that Mr. V just pushing in? Yeah, he took a turn himself. Mm, yes, for sure. Cram trying to chase. Will this be a fatal link? And there you go. Yes, indeed. Another kill gonna go onto the hands of Stan. Onto that plant slot. And the Hayabusa seems like this is a mistake going in a lot of members of the side of Team Solid Boys. However, as you can see, x -Boy trying to go for a backup. But unfortunately, we'll just end up on just flickering out of the team fight because he just can't do so but you know what there were a lot of team fights that, just, that happened already 15 kills just within seven minutes game time but there's no push in the mid as well on so the bot side i think solid boys you need to work on pushing this time because if you just uh, you know if you don't mind the turrets you might get to you know punished and maybe team mmljj will potentially even make a comeback so that was a good turret take in the mid finally at least a space is created somewhere there mm -hmm. Hi, Saya. Team Solid Boy say it. Noted, ma'am. Noted with thanks. Regards. We are gonna start <laughs> pushing now. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. On the bottom side, though, Esmeralda is, Esmeralda is just there, not allowing Thumbs to join the team fight that Solid Boys is doing. Ooh. Level 9 versus level 10. Hmm, are you gonna chase Arbe oh, though? Must have been a mistake. Be must have been a mistake here by Sam VP. He jumps right. in with the falling. Oh, armor, I think you're gonna die. In the jaws of oh, Team Solid Boys. Down goes this Esmeralda. Oh no, Tan is. Tan is godlike now. What are you doing? Oh, look at the space bait. No! Oh, that's Munions. No, Munions is down. But a push in mid though. A push in mid by our friend Billy. Yeah, now it feels like Billy just said, uh, okay, um, if, if we don't win team fight, then I'm gonna go for a split push work. And um, probably that's now the strategy for MLJJ because um, look at the snowball, look at the gold that the team Solid Boys got right now just within 9 minute game time. They got a good push on the bot side as well, where the, the next and objective is nearby. Yep, a nice orange steal here by Solid Boys. Uh, I think they're far enough for a Lord take, but they will risk it. Mr. V here gonna be blasted by both Billy and, of course, Muhammad. Nice take up there, but I don't know. There's no punish from Solid Boys. Like, they just lost Mr. V. They just lost Mr. V. Oh, popping the immortality, though. Gonna be Tan and up next, the rest of the gang. Down goes Muhammad. Down goes Muhammad indeed. Onto the bot side though, Esmeralda will still be staying in there. For the meantime, look at the damage being done by the Lancelot. Tan getting a double kill from that team fight, and they know that the Hayabusa in there. What they will do is just go clump all together so that they can uh, manage the damage coming from Billy. But then again, that Lancelot will be shot down. That is his second death. Yeah, I think uh, Dayabusa here is in the lead when it comes to like invulnerability frames. He has a much, much longer time out of the map 
as compared to Lancelot, who just has like split seconds. So I don't blame Dan there, but again, the shutdown on this 11 and 2 and 5 Lancelot is just astronomical now. Billy just got a lot of gold from that kill. Yeah. Um, it feels like for me, Billy really wants to carry this game. Uh, the punishment that they have received a while ago is uh, him to work even harder on uh, going on objectives plays. As you can see, what they're trying to do in here to just basically balance the minion waves so that it will be going in favor of them. Meantime though, we can see in here, it seems like the Esmeralda is going to get punished on the bottom lane part of the map. Meantime, onto the top side. As you can see, a different situation is happening because a lot of exchange of kills will happen too. Oh, this is the battle between assassins right now. Billy versus Stun. What is going to happen in here? He's going to get the lead. Ooh, both of them just decided to just stay away. But will the Hayabusa still, still chase uh, Tan? No, 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 because... Maybe it's just afraid. Maybe someone else is nearby already to back up that Lancelot. Yeah, and it's not no, gonna be fair. I think Billy just cleared the wave so his minions... Uh, his minions, you're right. His minions can take out the turret. And look at that, they're pushing all the way now. Big team fight waiting to happen here in mid. Look at this now. Fan and Edge coming in. Cram with the face of Link. Uh -oh. Knocking out Billy. Down goes uh -oh. Billy. Uh -oh. Is our friend here. Mr. Munion, and just like that, it's a free two for none. Well, with Billy out of the picture right now, no one's gonna do the split push work for Team MLJJ this time. Solid boys going for the Lord. Let's see who's gonna take it. Space created by that Farsha while hiding in a bush. That's just so right. I mean, what else do you expect a Farsha can do? You basically have to utilize the capability of that feathered airstrike to create a space for you while you take objectives and that is what Team Solid Boys is currently doing right. Uh-huh and again perfect placement in that bush. Now this is your boy Muhammad no min Munions 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 trying to clear out um, that minion wave that it's minions taking out the minion wave. Uh, securing the purple can they try this? Dangerous for Team MOJ Oh, oh uh, there you go, a space creation again by the Farsa, even killing that Kufra once more. There's a sustain coming from the Esmeralda, but I'm not so sure how long this would last. Because look at the first damage coming out from that Lancelot, it's just way too much to handle. Putting even the life of the Esmeralda to half if she doesn't have any shield. The Lord is here, up on top. Let's see what's gonna happen next. I think the best move here for Solid Boys would be to try and focus on mid as well. And now Sai MVP is in trouble. Oh, this turret as well. I think they're going to be able to push it. Pesaya, they got it. Now, burst it down. This time, another kill on the seemingly invincible Lancelot. Now 13, 3, and 7. But they do take two turrets. I think that's mission accomplished for Team Solid Boys. Oh, now Hayabusa is actually targeting. Farsa, but apparently Farsa is able to dash away but well protected by the members of Team Solid Boys. They're gonna go solid in terms of going for the protect onto the Farsa so that Farsa will leave long enough to create a space for them to run towards the mid. And he got caught out by the Fatal Link of Crap of the Atlas. And yeah, unfortunately for him, because of that, uh, Team Solid Boys got a position to even in, put more pressure onto the mid lane part of the map for them to be able to even contest uh, the area. I mean, the whole battlefield of of uh, Mobile Legends Bang Bang. And as we return, we did not see what happened, not too sure. But yeah, basing on the game right now, it's pretty chill, except for Arbe right now, who just fell down onto the hands of the Haya Boost. Why? Once more. I'm so. I'm, I'm questioning what Arbe was doing there. I guess he was defending from this possible take by Team MLG on that tier, or, uh, tier 1 turret down bottom, but. Ah, oh, still, even though I'm still questioning that. Why Why would you let yourself get caught out there? Hmm... Well, we didn't see what happened initially, but coming from the break, because I think uh, before we even transition to the screen, uh, something else was already happening, but that's okay. Uh, 50 minute game time. As you can see right now, Solid Boys is going to... Uh, is positioning themselves in stealing this red buff. They were able to steal that, and it went... I think it went into the, the Lancelot, so... Yeah, a split push is happening here by the Esmeralda onto the bot side. Let's see. Oh yeah, there you go. No defense will happen, but it's gonna be dangerous because. Okay, 
There's no ultimate available coming from Cram right now. But, oh, there you go. That's what they want to do. They want to take down the Farsa onto the back line. Hiya, Bootsa, take it away. And, uh, complete members for the side of Team MLJJ. No more space creation can be done by S because he's just fallen down. Ooh. Is it a turnaround of events, Leo? Wait, what's Mr. V doing? What's Mr. V doing? Is just waiting for someone? I'm not sure if that's one thing, Mr. V, but they get the knock out too. That is Sai MVP and Munions. Down goes uh, our friend BCT, aka Mr. Pitani as well. But I think the damage has been done, like all the waves. You were asking what Mr. V is doing. He's uh, basically doing his job. We've seen this kind of work of him, wherein he will just basically manage the minion wave. Not usually with joint team fights, and that's fine. And I think uh, it's still worth it what he did there in the mid lane, wherein it did not allow the minion waves of MLJJ to push towards the mid. And because it's going to be more risky if they, they let the minion waves flow and they, they end up dying on on the bot side part of the map. So it's still a win-win condition. And as you can see right now, Team Solid Boys got the map control again. Yep, and Lord is at half health or less. Whoa, what's this? Wild Blood, get popped up. There you go, oh baby. Oh Carlda. Nice fall in Star Moon here, set by Mr. Sai and BP. Now, oh, Immortality pop. That's going Edson to be time with the kill. Touched. His Immortality is in. Be going for well. Mr. V. Oh. Now he's trying to find Farsa. Hayabusa and Farsa down bottom. We cannot see it, but it's gonna happen. All right. He left Farsa alone. That ooh, pretty lady. So I just leave you alone. Okay, so Look far so how... good. I think it was a, it was an interesting trade, but yeah, they they both lost. An offlaner in the support, so I think I think it's okay. Well, that fight down bottom. Uh, Edge was left in check. It was just basically free hitting with a feathered age strike a while ago. I think Billy was finding a way to go onto the back line without him getting punished, getting caught by any members on the side of Team Solid Boys. Because as you can see, that uh, Mr. V's. Uh, Dohead and even Karam's Atlas can even take him, like toss him around, and uh, that's what he's avoiding. That's why he got late in terms of trying to get Eds uh, mm. before he even goes for a, for a feathered age oh. strike. Karam here has a ridiculous stat line 2, 3, and 20. Kesaya, he's been part of 20 assists. Alright, so now look at this Eds being chased down once more by Saim VP. Backs out, and again, the Lord. The Lord's Dance. This is this is. Um, this is look at this. This. What Team Solid Boys is doing right now is pretty similar to what Team Singapore has been doing in in previous games because they just pressure. They just go for one. They just pressure the off lane side where the Lord is not present. But for the meantime, look at this one. Two probably will fall down. Team MLJJ is one, down with one member. Hayabusa trying to chase the back line. Unfortunately, you cannot go in because there's still a lot of members coming from the side of Team Solid Boys. And this is an Esmeralda force to back away because Joy is actually going for his quick push. Yep, again, this is a very smart strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Forcing your opponents to have an answer, forcing your opponents to respect oh, your effects. Now look at Fatal this, Link. Fatal Links! But Billy able to hide out, but Shadow to juggle. There you go, Shadow still to hide himself, but it's not going to be enough. You are going down Shut here, good down. sir. Down Nine, goes three. Billy. Stan gets it, and I think his ally here, Sai BP, is going to follow up next. Mr. V gets the kill. That's two for none here in favor of Team Solid Boys. And that's... Yeah, that's three to defend. But I think it's time to go Lord. Lord's got to be now or never. Well, well, well. I gotta commend Pram on that Atlas on that one. Flickering in, going for a Fatal Link. Catching up a, a really mobile Hayabusa. What a kind of play is that? I mean, that's just lead and uh, really impressive. But for the meantime, Lord will be taken down by Team Solid Boys right now. They go for the clash in here. I don't think it's a good chance for MLJJ to even go for a team fight, knowing that uh, they're not even complete in, the, in terms of the lineup. They're missing a member and. Look at this, yes, they're just gonna get punished because they all went into the fight where they got outnumbered by Team 
a solid boy. So I I think this is gonna be it anytime soon. They got the Lord in here up top as well. All right, top lane is where things are gonna happen for Team Solid Boys, Team MOJJ. They need to make a defense of a lifetime here. Isaya, uh, they need to stop Tan. Like shut down Tan and Edge. I think that's key here. Tan and Edge. Base creation by the Tarsad. Again, the Lord's still there. Cram got his ultimate available. They gotta be careful in any step that they might do. But for the meantime, they will just focus fire in the base. They wanna take this win on this round one. Congratulations to Team Solid Boys for 